guys. It is Tuesday. I haven't vlogged since Legoland and so today we're gonna do a little day in the life vlogging. The boys are having their breakfast. Let's see, we're having longanisa and bacon, fried rice. Carson's having a roll with his. Um, I just finished making their lunches. Today they're both having cold lunch. Um, have their notes on top. And every time I write them a note, I always remind them to eat because I know they like to talk a lot like me. So, and they only have, how long, Isaiah? I don't know, but I think like 20 or 15 minutes. Only 15 or 20 minutes to eat? 20 or 20 Oh my gosh. And so, you know, I pack them all of these food and they come home and they have to finish it at home sometimes because I don't know what they're doing. They say they don't have enough time, but I'm always reminding them to eat, always telling them to do their best. And then, of course, I let them know I love them. And then, as you can see, my 10-year-old, I have, I have to put mom. And then I have kindergartner over here with mommy. I'm about to eat something. I don't know if I want to have a big breakfast yet. I'm probably just gonna have pandasol. I did make some Filipino pandasol last night um, with some coffee or something. I follow this thing on Facebook. It's like a throwbacks page and they post a bunch of throwback music and I love the 90s, R&B especially. Right now I'm watching this video with Case. Um, it's called Happily Ever After. I don't know if you guys remember that song, but Beyonce's in the video. And I reposted it and I said, when Queen B was once a princess. I've loved Beyonce since the beginning of Destiny's Child, so these things hit home for me. Like, I still remember watching this on MTV Jams or BET. your lunch. You have your lunch? Yeah. Love you. Have a good day. I love you. Eat all your lunch. <laughs> He's still watching TV. Bye. Go ahead, Carson. Walk your brother to the gate. Bye. Love you guys. We just finished having lunch. Today is Gerald's um, one out of two days off. And oh, you guys can't even see me that way. I gotta fix our bed. I'm not gonna do much cleaning today um, because we're gonna go out. Yeah, Clay, we're gonna get ready right now. And then um, we gotta go find my mom a present. And I don't know what Gerald wants to get his mom. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out and shop for our Mother's Day presents. And we gotta do a little bit of some, maybe Costco or Sam's Club grocery shopping. And I think we're gonna try to barbecue tonight. But I don't know if you guys have seen in my previous vlogs, whenever we try to barbecue, it's always windy. Hey guys, we are now out of the house. It's just the three of us. The boys are still in school. We are gonna try to find. Are you gonna try to find your mom something today too? Yeah. Mama stayed home. Whenever I'm vlogging, Clay wants to say something. I didn't really get to talk about how I really feel about the Beyonce Lemonade album. I know it's been like a long time ago already. It's been. It's kind of like old news now. But if you do follow me on Snapchat, you probably. You probably caught when I did mention something and um, just a disclaimer out there, you guys know I love Beyonce. I've been a fan since Destiny's Child, the beginning of Destiny's Child and um, yeah, I love Beyonce. I'm just... I know. He said I'm gonna get attacked by the beehive. I am beehive too. Don't trip. I stay buzzing with the bee. Okay. I love the Lemonade visual album. I completely, absolutely love the, al the visual album. Like, it makes sense. It puts a storyline to what she's saying and all of that. And, you know, I just love watching Beyonce do her thing. And um, her creativity, like, really speaks out in the visual album. But um, as far as the music itself, at first I was like, mm, I'm not 
really fill in all of this. There were some songs that of course got my attention like Formation because that was her single and then I liked Hold Up right off the bat. I liked Sorry right off the bat. Um, but like the rest of the album, I just took me a long time. But at this point now, a week down the road, I love it. Um, There's still some songs where I'm just like, I don't know, still hasn't grown on me. The whole album, let me tell you guys, has not grown on me yet. Um, not like her previous albums where I just love the whole thing, I can play the whole thing. But this one, I feel like I catch myself skipping it. I know she's a different Beyonce every time, but every time I love everything about her, um, and I still do, it's just this one album just has not completely grown on me yet. Um, there's just a couple songs that I'm just not feeling. But, um, what do you call it, one of my friends did mention to me that you know she's not gonna come out with the same stuff all the time and um, well, which is true I totally understand it's just that's just my opinion but um, yeah my jams on there would have to be formation hold up and sorry oh my gosh I love love those songs we're not going to Disneyland everything that comes out of these kids mouths are Disneyland but um, even my kids are like can you stop singing that it's getting annoying or why do you keep listening to that because I, those are the songs that I have on repeat yeah I did get messages on snapchat like what what like really and I did get some which you know they concurred with me they were like yeah we miss the old Beyonce but that's just me that's just my personality I dwell and I guess I dwell on the past a lot, especially um, loving her previous music, but um, but it's true, you know, she's not gonna come out sounding the same all the time, which she comes out with different personas anyway, so might as well match that persona with that music, and this time she went a little thug life Beyonce on us, so that's what we're gonna have, that's what she served us with, but um, I don't know, maybe this is like my defense mechanism from being hurt <laughs> about not going to the concert. But um, I have been watching the Formation tour on people's vlogs and people's videos on YouTube before YouTube takes it down because I know YouTube will take those down. They took down my On The Run tour vlog. Oh, I'm so sad about that. Um, but yeah, so if you guys are not gonna go to the concert like me and you guys wanna watch it, they're on YouTube right now. If you guys, um, or my personal friends or my friends on social media please post when you go to the concert I would love to see them so last night was the Met Gala I was looking at pictures and I posted on my Instagram if you guys follow me on Instagram my top three favorite dresses from from what I've seen I love Kendall Jenner's dress of course I love Kendall Jenner she's just so hot um, Beyonce okay let me explain the Beyonce one later and then Naomi Campbell's dress is just slaying my life right now so Beyonce's dress is like made out of plastic or latex of some sort but she is still killing it like the nude color and all those pearls, each one of those pearls cost $6,000 and this is a Givenchy dress. So I'm just like, you know what, she pulled it off. I don't care what anybody says, if it's like plastic, if she looks like a condom or <laughs> whatever they are saying about her on the internet, she is still killing it in that dress. So this is completely impromptu. We're right here. She doesn't even know yet. She has no idea. Gerald's just gonna buy her this toy that she's been asking for. Um, it's not that expensive, but it's something she used to have and then she's seen a picture of her with it and she's like, oh, I want that! She calls it her Beyonce. Beyonce what? Beyonce microphone. Beyonce microphone. <laughs> so she calls it Beyonce microphone because she has a video up on my Instagram where she was singing with her microphone and she was watching the Beyonce video. What are you gonna buy? I don't know. Are you buying your Beyonce what? I'm not buying my, my microphone. Right. Okay, go with daddy. Beyonce microphone. What? Beyonce microphone. You got it? Are you happy? Mama, that's it. That, Kalea, you know that's your prize because, because you know how to potty and poop in the toilet now even in public restrooms, okay? So good job. You're done with potty trading, right? Yes. 
Oh, this is so funny. He goes, oh my gosh, I seen these shoes and I wish I didn't even see them because I really like them. And they're these Kohans. They're so ugly. <laughs> I told him to get them if he wants them, but because, you know, we don't tell each other what to wear. We can wear whatever we want. But, you know, I mean, we can give our two cents and my three cents is I don't like it. <laughs> The Yeezys. <laughs> what is that? That's the Feezys. We're at Nordstrom Rack and it's been a success because we found Mommy. both of our parents something. Mommy. Yeah, baby. Both of our moms, I mean. What is it, honey? Mommy. Yes? When, when, when somebody we, we, we told you to, to buy Mama's present. Yeah, we are buying her a present. just asked me if I wanted to go on a cruise. I don't know if I'm ready to leave the kids for that long. <laughs> that sounds so fun though. It, um, last year we celebrated our 10 year wedding anniversary, but we didn't really get to do anything, just the two of us. We did go to Hawaii last year um, with the whole family, which I think is a good enough 10 year anniversary. Ah, that was the best, I think. We had so much fun, huh babe? Yeah, so grateful for that. That was such a blessing to be able to get away for um, almost two weeks in Hawaii. But we're thinking about doing something this year. We're going to be celebrating our 11th, 11th year wedding anniversary. I want to go to Napa, but he's not really a wine guy. Um, but he wants to go on a cruise. So the only thing is, I don't know if I'm ready to be away from the kids for that long. How do you mamas do it? Can you guys tell me? Can you guys give me some tips on how to do it? How do I like just build the strength and courage to just leave for what is it? Four nights? I don't know. I've been wanting to go on the cruise since. I know. Well, we've been saying since uh, I got out of the navy. <laughs> he wants to go back on the ship. Well, that's been a long as a time. Passenger. Ago. As a passenger and not a. As a worker. As a worker. But we've been saying we want to go on a cruise with the kids only if it's if it's a Disney cruise. But of course we can't do that this year. So I don't know. We'll see. Mom, what are we going to buy here? We're going to buy some meat because we're going to barbecue tonight, baby. It's so cold. <laughs> it's so cold. The kids are here. I mean the boys. Hi, boys. Hi. How was school? Did you guys have a good day? We're home now and I'm about to get out of this dress. Okay, I'm gonna change like a transformer. It's a nice warm day out and Gerald's gonna be barbecuing soon. The boys are here. They're having pizza from Costco. Yeah. I school I saw my dad for a long time. Good. Did you guys say hi? It was at the playground. Okay, so us Santa Marians, we like to use a Suzy Q seasoning. You guys have probably seen in my previous vlogs that I talk about this. It is the Santa Maria barbecue style seasoning. Um, and the brand is Suzy Q. So specifically Suzy Q's, you guys, I know there's different brands out there, but um, this is the best one and it's the one that's close to the whole Santa Maria barbecue flavor tasting. And it goes well with a lot of meats, but we love it with um, tri-tip specifically. We use a Santa Maria style barbecue pit and it looks like this and um, it's one of those ones that you can't roll up and down. So that's what Santa Maria style barbecue is. We use the red oak and then we use this grill. So my sister-in-law walks in with this. <gasps> What's this? Whose birthday, Jen? I decided to turn on lemonade. Yup, that's what I'm gonna be watching and listening to while I am whoop, cutting up the veggie. Okay, Zay wants to show you guys something with his airsoft guns. All right, first I'm gonna shoot the orange target up there with the rifle, and then I'm gonna shoot the red target. Okay, go ahead. You gotta go on the other side of the fence and pick those trash up, okay? Okay guys, I'm gonna make my stuffed mushrooms now. I just used 
um, the stems of the mushrooms, some Italian style breadcrumbs, some cheeses, and what else did I put in there? Eggs. Yeah, that's all. That's all. It's going to be simple. The kids are in the backyard with my sister-in-law. Isaiah put his guns away, so all the little ones are out there now. Oh, I look like a hot mess. Are you okay, babe? Gerald's cutting up the meat. Everything's cooked, except for the mushrooms they're cooking up. Finishing up, I should say. Okay, so today's wine, I guess, is from Chile. And I usually get, like, California, Napa, or Central Coast. Um, but I didn't realize this was Chile, which is okay. I don't mind it because Malbec, when we drink Malbec, that's usually from a different country. Okay, so let's see. This one is a complex and balanced wine of great character with fine aromas of red berries, toast, and smoke. Let's see. Structure and well-balanced body is perceived on palate. La, 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 la. Mmm, that's really good. I don't taste smoke, which is a good thing for me. That came out really good, babe. Good work. Okay, we have an elote little bar right here. You can make your Mexican corn. I have my stuffed mushrooms. We have the Portuguese sausage. We have the yummy, yummy tri-tip. And some grilled asparagus. Because we just finished eating dinner. This is what we have left. Sometimes it doesn't even look like we put a dent in the food, but we did. We're all full. And look, my cousin Francis isn't dressed up. What's up? How's it going? giving my mom her Mother's Day present. Look how tall this cake is. This is the iPhone 6 Plus. It's so tall. Kalea asked how come we didn't sing happy birthday. It's nobody's birthday, right? Carson, go get a slice right there. Okay, guys, we're all ready for bed. Just gonna end the vlog, you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And see you next time. Bye.